salutations YouTube. I am filming late again today because it was another crazy one. I had to take the car in for work and we got a rental, I'm not sure what the word is. What's the word for it? Uh, the, that they called it, there was a term. Rental? No, it was the other one. It started with like a C. Oh, courtesy. Courtesy, the courtesy car. That's the one. And so that was they pretty, lie. yeah, they were like, oh yeah, we've got you. And then they were like, well, you're going to have to rent it. And then they found out that we were getting so much work done on our car that they kind of were like, yeah, we'll give this to you. It's... The crazy thing is like, well, no, we still did have to rent it. Really? Yeah. They took oh. it down to your dad. But oh, the crazy thing is they dick. told me over the phone, like the entire process they'd need to go through in order to give us a courtesy car. So I know that they exist. And then when we got to the counter, the guy like. You could see his eyes were like going down his nose at us. <laughs> yeah. And he said, no, we don't do courtesy cars. And we said, yeah, you do, but, <laughs> but okay. we got a car. Yeah. So we've got something to drive in so we're not stuck sleeping at the whatever it's called, the dealership tonight. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> Um, but I still wanted to get a Vlogmas vlog up, and so I figured that I would talk briefly about one of my new favorite. Oh, poor bug. <laughs> I know you act like we never feed you, but I have a bottle right here. It's almost finished, too. Anyway, Sorry. no, you're Back fine. To Lord. <laughs> I love having him around all the time. But I thought I'd talk briefly about one of my new favorite cosmetic lines called Lunatic Cosmetics Labs. And I have four lipsticks by them, two single eyeshadows, their mystifying mattifying powder, and I have a custom palette that I got or that I ordered through them, which I think I've shown a picture of before. And I have their contour palette. Just it's the um First edition, edition one, whatever you want to call it. So, I have quite a bit to talk about. Let's get to it. I think I will start with the lipsticks. It's funny because, like, when you put them, well, I guess maybe in the lighting, they kind of look, at least uh, this one looks similar to these. But they're actually very different. And especially with the, um, I'm not sure if they... They, they're two different kinds of lipsticks. I'm not sure. I can't remember exactly what they're called. Um, but this first one I'm swatching is called Coven Cream. No, sorry. Crypt Cream. I got both Coven and Crypt Cream, and I always get them confused. So it's Crypt Cream. And this one, I'm not sure if it's too light for me. I've tried it kind of, sort of, once, but it was without makeup and without a base. So... I don't know, it's got a really purpley undertone, which I really like. There we go, that's better. The top one's Coven, that one's Crypt. No, dang it, did it again. Always. <laughs> okay, so, I this is going to bug me. This one is Crypt Cream. That one is Coven Cream. Okay, now that I think... Yes, I had to check just to make sure. But yes, these are the, those are the right ones. Okay, so I got... I can't remember if this... If um, Nancy is their new lip... Whatever. It's like a, a wet-to-dry lipstick. And it's really good quality. I really love both of these. And I'm excited to swatch them. I've worn... I think it was Nancy because it was the purpley one. This one has a great purple undertone too, and I wore it with a makeup look. If I have a picture, I'll put it up here that I really, really liked. It all, I also used the um, eyeshadow palette in that picture if I got it up as well. Ooh, I love this one. I'm going to make the swatch really dark, so I'm going to add another layer. There we go. I also love their cap. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's a little skull. So cute. Love it. Yeah, this one is Nancy. The third one down. I can't wait till I get better lighting and can kind of, um, well, do this better. 
I'm waiting till after Christmas and after the holidays so that, so that I can put my money into gifts for the family and everything that we need. And then when I have a little bit of money to spare, I will get some better lighting and put some money into the channel so that I can make my videos look just a little bit prettier and have, especially since I'm doing makeup or I've been talking about makeup so much, I want to make sure I get the real colors. And the bottom one is Lori. See, that's okay. When I get it down here, it shows different colors. I think the second, the Crip, the Coven Cream, this one, like I think I said this before, but it might be too light for me. I'm going to try it with a makeup look and see if I like it and kind of go from there because I'm not entirely sure. I love, like, these lipsticks. I will put a link to it in the description box, but I really highly recommend this. I, bear, I ate, I drank, I talked, I don't think I slept in it that night because I was really good at taking my makeup off back then. A few months ago, I wasn't as lazy, but I did everything in it. I was actually on my anniversary trip, and it didn't come off, and it still looked perfect, and I loved it. I think I will talk about, because this, I haven't taken this off because I have like a thing about fingerprints on mirrors and I've been scared to take it off, but the packaging is so cute. I have a Ouija board dress that I just always want to wear this, wear this with. This is what it looks like, you know, basic white powder, but it sets really well and it makes everything pretty and I've actually used it a couple of times to tone down my contour if I've uh, done it too deep by accident and kind of fix my mistakes if you know what I mean. I'll do the contour palette next because there's only two colors that I use right now. Well, not right now. I usually use a mix of these two and uh, sometimes I'll use the browns if I'm feeling like I need to do a warmer look. And I haven't really used the blushes yet, but I've been really meaning to. They kind of remind me I think I showed you, showed you the blush wheel that I got from Tarte. I've been using that a lot lately because I just love their blushes. Um, but I'm excited to use this. I'm really excited about the size of the pans because they're ridiculously huge and gorgeous. Sorry, I don't know if I'm blinding you with the mirror. It's been a long day. But I love the pan size. And I love how, especially when you use the grayer tones in the middle, uh, like towards the spine of the book. It's very cool, but a very natural looking contour. So it's like you, you look very chiseled and sculpted, but it's not super outrageous or um, unnatural. And let's see, last but not least, I'll do the two individual shadows first. Okay, so I have Lime Lagoon and Brains because I didn't get them in the original palette and I knew I wanted them. So here's Brains. It's a really beautiful purple. I love these colors. I love their eyeshadows so, so much. Like, I love their eyeshadows. This is Lime Lagoon, obviously. Um, I used for my makeup this Halloween, if I can find a good picture, I'll also put it up here. I used them for my makeup and it turned out so beautiful. Their eyeshadows are so creamy and they blend so well and they look so good together, but they also have incredible staying power. Like they'll stay all day, won't crease. In fact, I've slept in them before because I'm kind of lazy when it comes to taking off my makeup. And so I slept in it before and it was still there the next day actually, and it still looked pretty good. So. I definitely give them big kudos to that, even though I don't re recommend sleeping in your makeup. And also, let's talk about this packaging. This is too cute. I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. It always has been, and I'm sure it always will be. And this just, like, I know that um, Ouija boards or spirit boards or whatever you call them are not specific to Halloween, but holy cow, this is so cute. I love the colors. I love... Especially, and you know, since we're talking about packaging, this. This is perfect. This is too cute. I could go on forever. It's just so cute and I love it. Now, I'm an awful human being and I forgot the names of some of these shadows. Well, I know the names. I just forgot, like, which one's which, except for, like, this pumpkin one. 
So this is a custom palette that I had done. Let's see if I can get better quality. Yeah, that's pretty good. And it's probably the sh eyeshadow palette that I reach for the most. Um, I can't even lie. Like, I know they're technically fall colors, but for me, fall is all year round, first of all. And another thing that I, like, I just love them so much. Like I said, the shadows are perfect. They, they have staying powers, or staying power. They don't crease. They just, I can't rave about this uh, brand enough. I'm really excited to see what they've got in the future. I'm really excited to pick up either another custom palette or I'm just going to get singles of the rest of their shadows. And since I'm starting to delve into um, just playing around with makeup and everything and, you know, creating fun looks instead of just wearable ones, I am thinking about picking up their second contour palette, which I'll put a, a picture right here of so you can see the colors. Um, I should probably wind, wind this up because I can hear my baby getting upset and I need to edit and still post this. Happy Vlogmas. I can't wait till school is over and I don't have so much crap going on and everything's kind of settled down. Can't wait to share my vacation with you guys and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>